so you're what listening. Oh, oh what my happened? God. <laughs> Are we starting? Yeah. Hello. You're, you're listening <laughs> to another episode of More Lame and Goody Blood Money. In the last episode, you all faced off against a group of kobold sorcerers. I and, wouldn't uh, really call it faced off. There was only a couple sorcerers. There was also just a, no- a lot of normal-ass kobolds. No, they were all sorcerers. Oh. Uh, so we just killed them before they had a chance to do anything. I mean, yeah. That's why I say I wouldn't really call it faced off so much as we just kind of smeared them on the walls. Ah, uh, one of them dealt a good amount of damage with chromatic orb. Yeah, one of them got me really nice. I was really low on health. Uh, you guys then saved uh, all of the goblins that were previously uh, had been captured. Uh, the conscious one named Sarek uh, was able to awaken the other goblins and scurry off with the um, scurry off their skir- scurry away towards the entrance of the citadel. Apparently I can't read. Skirt. <laughs> Skirt, skirt, skirt. Uh, Jack, you spent uh, a short rest practicing your Eldritch Ricochet ability. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys then entered into a long hallway with pillars of entwining dragons lining it, and at the western end, at the western end stood a small stone throne with several items on the altar behind it. There is a silver key, a uh, Qual's feather token for trees, an elixir of health, and three spell scrolls. Uh, you guys found a eventually found a cave entrance illuminated by luminescent fungi in one of the branching rooms that leads to the bottom level of the castle. Hi, Ginger. Hello. Yay. <laughs> uh, just beyond a small room that appeared to be uh, nests for something large, you saw a sizable underground garden with two skeletons tending to it and a few twig blights rooted into the ground. Though Philadel cast invis- invisibility on Sonia, and uh, Jack destroyed one of the blights and skeletons while Sonia dealt with the other two simultaneously, like a well coordinated duo. And that's where we left it. I need to get Ginger out of my room. Hang on one sec. No, leave baby. No, she does this thing where if she hears me talking to myself, she will meow incessantly and then eventually bite my arm. I want- <laughs> So, you guys are standing in the uh, entryway. Are we turning? I suppose not the, the entryway. <laughs> Stop. Turtle. Uh, <laughs> um, Turtle. Sonia and Jack, you had just killed both these skeletons and blight creatures, and now you're standing inside of this uh, underground garden, while Ophelidel and Vareth are towards the uh, entrance of it. Yeah, we feel real cool. We killed a bunch of trees and some already dead people. Hey, we yeah, had cool guys. Listen here, we had some really good teamwork. You shut your mouth. As uh, far as I know, they weren't even like bad guys. They were just like yep. gardeners that we murdered. We had specifically knew because the skeletons were crafting the blights, and we have already established that the blights are evil. Well, no. Why are you making we, a 180? Because you were all for killing them last session. Oh, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not for killing, killing them. I'm just saying that we have to. Also, we never knew the Blights were evil. The yeah, giant we... tree dude showed up, said they're evil, and killed them. Which is... That doesn't mean that they're evil. Anyway, Someone we're, we're at 56. So you're just being contrarian. Yes. We're at 50, you said we're at 56, Bareth right? is going to walk up and punch her in the face. No, you're not at 56. That is... No, we're in a, we're in a different map, right? You're in you're in 42, 42 on the okay. Grove level map. Yeah. Does the Grove level map... Yeah, I'm looking at the Grove. I just forgot uh, where we were. So it's a big square room. Okay. Does it have numbers on it? Oh, it does. They're just really... Yeah, you gotta zoom in. Um, I'm going to look for... So there's two doors, I assume, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are either of them locked? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Ferret and Ophelido, are you with us? I think, weren't you guys waiting upstairs, or? No, no. they were, they were, we went into the area, and they were waiting at the entrance from 43 to 42 is where they were okay. waiting at, and we actually went into So the then, yeah, I'll, I'll motion them to come on over now that the, the threat yeah. has been dealt with. Alright, uh, neither, neither door is locked. Okay. Um... Which way do y'all want to go? 
Uh, I guess we can go to through the right door first. Okay. Uh, the, east, the east door. <clears throat> I'll very carefully pop the east door. Okay. Uh, inside, you see two rows of dragon-carved marble columns march the length of the hall, most uh, completely covered in luminescent fungus. The cobbled floor is cracked and stained, and on it sit many small wooden tables. The contents on the tables include mortars and, uh... Did I say pestles? Yeah, mortar yeah. pestles. They if, it's, of if it's okay. got mortars, it'll have pestles. pestles. They include mortar and pestles, small tools, bowls filled with crushed leaves, chopped fungus stalks, and other plant specimens. The many doors leading off to this hall are all partly open. Uh, hey, you're a hermit. What did what is some of these leaves? What is what is this? That's actually what I was about to ask. Can I make a nature or medicine check to see what they're trying to make? Uh, yeah. Which one? Nature. Twenty one. So, all of them are all different uh, varieties of tree, shrub, and fungus. But they all have a pronounced pallor as if they were sun-starved. But there's everything here. Mash leaves, fungus, bark, powdered roots. But can I can I tell what they're... Like, if they're trying to make, like, a healing salve, poison... What kind of drugs are they trying to make here? Exactly. Uh... Sid. It appears to be some kind of a just like something you would find in an herbalism kit or a set of alchemist supplies. So healing. Well, well, okay. Now so, you said so they're making just straight up ganja. They're not trying to do anything special. This isn't like a meth lab. This is so just... either something to heal or something to hurt. Looking to protect yourself. Or do you see damage? <laughs> God damn it. Fuck. That's um, good. Yeah. Hey, wait. Vareth. Yes. You're a hermit? Yes. <laughs> Alright. So why are you. I had been. Oh, you quit it? Quit the hermit lifestyle? I'll just say it's the reason I drink and we'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> well, at least I know that it's not me now. Well, I mean, you're part of it, but you're not all of it. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fair. Hey, um... Anyone else got some secret things? A bit, uh, well, I that mean... It hadn't really been a secret. <laughs> so, well, I, I mean, you never told us. Jack just sort of whistles and looks down the corridor. Uh, um, oh! You know what? That reminds me. I need to check in my bag. Uh, uh, so the thing uh, is, is Vareth, the, the, the bandits, killed all of Vareth's no family, and now he's sworn revenge. Yeah. Remember, guys, always yeah. check your bags. If there's a lump, call a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wow. That's the game we're playing tonight. All right. Um, I'm going to hey, just uh, check that first south door while, while Sonya checks her bags. Um, the southwest? Uh, yeah. So, well, the the first open south door to the south in forty seven. Bottom left. Bottom left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sonia, what are you doing? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, I pull out first. I pull out the, the 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 skull that I stole from that witch's entrance. Do you mm -hmm. guys remember that? Not at all. Remember, we went to that. We went to like black. Oh, I don't have my notes open. Let me see. We went to is like. It from, what was it? Fucking is it from Baba Lysaga? No, no. I know you have the. Maybe Blackstaff. Oh, oh fuck! I stole her skull. Remember? Is it? Does it still got magic? Hey, are you still? Because I remember we weren't sure, so I took it with me just in case. Are you still there? 
There's no response. It's me, God, Sonia. Okay, I, I just throw that over my shoulder. Okay, I didn't. I was hoping that. I was hoping that actually were, but didn't. So I'm gonna get rid of that out of the thing. And then I'll and then I pull out it, Sonya smashes into head. a beaker. And I pull out Sonia 2's head, and I, I shake it. And I'm like, is the spirit of my daughter still in this? Does it still have magic? It vibrates a little bit. Hey, you guys that can see magic, does this still look magic? I. Uh, Cast detect magic. Does it look like a magic? Yep. It look so, like a magic. So uh, you know, yeah. Just specifically, this right here. This mm -hmm. is why you make me drink. I'm just checking to make sure, cause like I remember way back before we fought Strahd, one of you said that this was filled with like, it, it, or it was like a protective magic, right? And I guess the idea was that eventually I was gonna like break it and it was gonna help me in a time of need. But then we what whooped Strahd, <laughs> and it's just been here in my bag. I just wanted to check and make sense. sure I'd forgotten about it. Right? I just forgotten about it. You know, kind of like how we forgot about Strahd's bones. Hold on, hold on, the Felidel. Yes. Can Can you speak with the dead yet? Uh, no. Okay, there goes that idea. Negatory. When you can do that, tell me. <laughs> yeah, because then we can determine if it's a spirit or, or just some just responsive magic. magic or something. We could go look for a scroll, and I could learn the spell. And then have it forever to never use on any of you. Jiggity. <laughs> So Listen, in the south <laughs> you do not you do not want to turn into the fucking party equivalent of uh Deckard Kane, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, stay a while and listen. <laughs> Let so, me tell you about Diablo. <laughs> so in the southwest <laughs> chamber God, that was so oh, bad. You wizards see... don't get speak with dead. <laughs> Wait, what? Wizards don't get speak with dead. <laughs> oh, 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 that's not Sorry, that's not Nick. cool. It is a third level spell, but wizards don't have it. Um, Rip. Dang. do. I'm surprised. Huh. Ne I'm surprised necromancers don't get it. Yeah, you would think. <laughs> well, I mean, I think the necromancer really reads like it was an afterthought. Um. I don't need to talk yeah. to my toaster to get it to toast for me, right? That's true. And I, I'm assuming that's how most necromancers see their things. It would be pretty thematic, though, to be able to speak with the dead. Yeah, Yeah, because they tend to also speak to spirits to find hidden power. We gotta get you that. We gotta get, we gotta find a, yeah, we gotta find a scroll that lets you do that. Is there anything that, is there anything that teaches you how to speak with the living? I could use that. It's called a dictionary. Anyway. It's called no. a self-help book. No. <laughs> Chicken work. soup for the adventurer's soul. Oh, my God. Anyway, the, the southwest chamber, you, uh, Jack, you see a crude mashing, straining, and casking facility uh, that appears to have uh, been used to make some kind of wine. Good wine? Uh, I mean... You, you look into uh, the 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 pail at the bottom beneath the spigot. Mm -hmm. Does not look good. Ugh. It is kind of this gross, mottled burgundy oh. color. What were there's they a using bit, to make wine? There's a hey, bit of me, pulp. Let me uh, let me uh, let me see if I can. Uh, so um, can I try to like if I if I taste it? Can I try to like discern? All right. Stepping out effect? of the room. I'm immune to poison. Yeah, I'd rather not see you projectile vomit because of how terrible it That's tastes. That's gonna count as a poison if it would make I mean, me vomit, right? Not necessarily. It, um, you if you not it, it, it's something that, that is gross, it could you could just throw um, up. I'm, I'm tasting it, and the reason I'm tasting is because I want to ask if I do that, would I be able to roll to see if I could figure out like. Oh, What's I can just tell you exactly what it tastes like. I meant, like, is it 
meant to be a poison? Was this meant to be just a wine? Was this meant to be some kind of healing thing? Well, when you take it was a sip... Hey, just resident alcoholic, it was wine, it sat there open to the air, it's vinegar. Yeah. I'm gonna put it in It's the not mind. bottled. Yeah. Don't you already have a bottle of Listen, bad vinegar? Listen, we just have a ton to put of the strange liquid yeah. inside of him. No, we have a ton of... I'm gonna start a vinegar business. There's like five casks of vinegar back home in the basement. Like, I'm No, gonna, those are still... sealed. Those are still wine. No, I think those are vinegar. I think. I we know, I remember asking, and when I established, established, yeah, those were all vinegar. <laughs> So that's why I'm like, I'm going to start a video. <laughs> no, those are the ones we got as a reward. No, no, no. Uh, These ones. were already in the basement when we got there, and I checked it oh, out. Oh, okay. Okay, I know. Okay. Yeah. Yep, I remember now. Yeah. Just That was the when I w- walked down there, and you were just chugging vinegar. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sonia, so are you drinking this, or? No, I'm, I'm closing the lid, sealing it, putting it in my All bag. Right. A bottle of liquor, uh, 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 a gallon, two gallon, well, however big a casket is of, of vinegar. Papa Sonia's vinaigrette. Spend All right. Sonia's stuff. <laughs> I like You'll that you specifically it. called it Papa Sonia. That's very good. Yeah. So, uh, Jack, did you want to look and see what they were using to make it? Yeah, just to see what they were actually making. Um, well, when you peer into the, uh, into the main part of it, I don't know exactly what you call it. Um, the bucket. But, yeah, the, the, the mashing part of it. The mashing uh, part of it. Yeah, I don't know what it's called, man. Um, <laughs> I just drink it. I don't make it. You see two bloodied goblin corpses in there. Oh, oh, and it appears that they were squashing roots, fungi, and what might have been cranberries at some point. And just how did they die? Uh, They appear to have had their throat slit. Oh, hey, Sonia, you may not want to. You know what? Nah. I, I didn't do nothing. I haven't done nothing. One, <laughs> this one. is a problem for a later time. <laughs> That's future jo- Jack's problem. <laughs> I don't say anything. Wait. Is this... No, wait. I need to know. Is there something up? Because there's just two goblins. There's just two dead In goblins. the mashing tray where their throats were cut and all of the fluid from the mashing goes into the drink bucket. So um, I pull out the casket I don't tell uh, you does that. Anyone have, does anyone have uh, a pen I can borrow? Yes. I'm not telling you what's in there. Thank you. And then I'm just going to write blood vinegar on it. You and don't know. Put it back in the bag. <laughs> I'm telling you now. You don't know that. Unless you looked in the bucket. It's Papa Sonia's orc right. vinegar. Goblin vinegar. All right. Full of all those good goblin spices. I would say the secret ingredient is goblin. Goblin goo. There's someone who likes this. You're gonna feel real stupid when we come across some dragon or something that I give it to and it loves it and then we it gives us all the money. Yeah, that part ain't happening. Yeah, that's how that works. All that's right, how so that works. <laughs> where else are you guys going? I ain't going um. nowhere. All you fuckers have done is yell at me because I take steps through room. So literally, I will never be the first person to enter a room now. I guess I'll check the the northwest then. No, you were you were learning. I had been giving you treats. You had you had turned a new leaf. Go, please continue. No, I'm not doing nothing. Fuck all (laughs) y'all. You go check the doors and suit yourself then. All right, so you go through the northwest. And when you get close to it, you can hear some uh, snoring through the door. Oh. I will poke my head in very gently. Uh, This appears to have been a rough sort of barracks. You see 16 small pallets of matted fur covering the floor. And you see that at least five of them hold sleeping kobolds. I put up a finger. 
Felida will pull out a knife. <laughs> and then <laughs> I'll put up five fi- I'll put up fingers. Hey, wait, shut up. Everyone shut up. Put up five fingers. And I point into the room. And then um, I look. Yeah, Philadel takes out a knife and a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, and then um, I pull out the dagger. No, wait, 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 wait. Um, because we can't kill all of them before they all wake up. You don't know that. Five of them and only four of us. If I hold a mouth I... shut while I cut, now, I now guarantee I... ain't nobody gonna make no noise. I go to Josh and I whisper. Who's... And I pull out the casket of vinegar and I go, Who's Josh. Now. Yeah, one uh, to, to to Jack, sorry. And two, when did it change from a cask to a casket? I thought a cask, <laughs> whatever. whatever. I pull I pull out the uh the what? casket. It's double wide and double deep. That's a <laughs> reference the for giant, no one. The giant, like person shaped casket. <laughs> And I go, now see, normal vinegar, you see, your store-bought vinegar that you get from Fantasy Walmart is normally non-flammable because they make it mostly out of water. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite store, Fantasy Walmart. Yeah. But naturally made vinegar, which is just stuff that's spoiled, is actually pretty flammable. So since you're stealthy, you just pour this all next to all of them, and then you light it with your fire, and we close the door and forget this room exists. Or, instead of giving them horrific burning deaths, I could just cut all their throats, and we can call this a day. Which is more horrific, do you think? Yeah. They die quickly. It's fine. Or or we could just shut the door and put a chair under it. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) I fucking love that. Counterpoint, fuck (laughs) them. They haven't done anything to me directly. Well, I mean, their friends yeah. all tried to kill us. Well, yeah, we don't know if they were friends. Maybe it was a different faction. You're right. No, that is fair with, uh... That is fair with these kobolds that we've met in this exact same place as all the other evil kobolds. Maybe these... That's why they live under in, in the cellar. Because they're good ones. Like I said... No, I, it's not just... necessarily that. It's they're just a different faction. We can just shut the door all the way. <laughs> Wedge a chair under it, call it a day. We can come back this way and slit their throats later if we want to. Uh, I mean, I'm cool with that. My problem is, I don't know if the DM is cool with that. Uh, that doesn't. It, it's not his decision. Let's put it that way. He doesn't get to have a decision on this <laughs> in this situation. So that's what I'm doing. Slitting their throats. No, put no, it in your chair. What? what? <laughs> no, pay attention to I guess, I I guess he money. does get a decision on this one. All right, no, listen. When you guys just go, I let you go. <laughs> no, I'm saying is we are going to shut the door and we're going to wedge a chair under the door. No, no, no. Okay. Can, I... is, there, is there something nice and big and stony I can wedge instead of just a chair or something that we really won't open? I can put a stone on the chair. Yeah. Wait, does the door open in or out? If I say you can do this, we just let it go. Yeah. Yes. So Philadelphia casts summon greater demon inside the middle of the room and then closes the door. <laughs> and that <laughs> happened. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> and that happened. And now we're going to put the chair in front of it. And then Sonya puts the chair in front of the door and puts a rock on the chair. And we're good. Everybody knows greater demons can't use And, and that doors. is what we call future us's problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, eventually he's gonna go back to like his dimension, right? Yeah. So yeah, I've no, never I... actually drank during the adventure, but you guys are getting me awfully fucking close. I didn't expect this one. I'm gonna be honest. See, your problem, Varith, is that you're sitting there and you're looking at the stupid shit we do and go, "Man, that's real stupid." <sighs> when what you should be doing is going, "What kind of stupid shit can I get away with?" <laughs> All right. So, are you right. actually doing? That? Are you actually point, doing? Actually, is is Elfeladel actually doing this? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. What are you talking about? Elfeladel right. has never do- not done anything he said he's done. That's true. <laughs> All right. All right. What kind of demon you summoning? Um. 
Uh, probably a borrow guru. Oh, great. Oh, God. That cool. door ain't gonna know. hold. That door ain't gonna contain that vulgar. I don't care if you put eight chairs under it. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, no. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, before you do that, I am going to cast. I'm gonna take ten minutes, uh -huh. and I'm going to cast magic circle around the door, <laughs> so that the vulgar can't get out. Cool. See. Oh, hey. So that, I'm, that that's that's not bad. So, um, fourth level, um, it will last for two hours. That's great. He only lasts an hour, I think. Um, so yeah, I just, uh, you see me pull out a small group of diamonds, and as I'm casting, my hands heat up, and the, du and the diamonds just, or not, uh, no, it'd be powder it would be iron you see it just crumble into dust and i create a circle in the doorway do a bit of muttering 10 minutes or i'm sorry it's only one minute it's not 10 minutes um and it creates a uh symbol on the floor all right and then El Felida, how do you summon the bulger uh... oh and i specifically pick it's fiend he's a fiend right yeah yeah I, I pick fiends as the I just cast the spell um, and a nice a nice swirling blood portal opens up in the middle of the room the screams of the abyss <laughs> um, fill the Marl room girl from the climbs portal. up huh screams from the abyss fill the room coming out of the portal as a borrowed girl pulls himself out and I close the door Almost as soon as the door slams shut, you hear what could be akin to a really bad car crash. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. Now, that's going to protect the door, not the wall next to the door. We should probably go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. So, so you just busy. hear you just hear just a bunch of banging around and then she's like, <laughs> <laughs> just that one, that one goblin <laughs> just came out. And mm -hmm. then or, uh, maybe maybe oh. a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to leave this entire area and go to a whole new area, right? Like, I don't care what else is in this fucking place after that. Um, just tell me where you want to go. Can I check? Well, I'm not checking the door. I'm not checking the room next to the room with the Bulgara. So I'm going to check the <coughs> door to the upper right. It's when the uh, kobold goes flying through the wall. <laughs> You're going to be in a real tight spot. Yeah, He's just here. <laughs> As it um, slams into this wall. I'm right, going to so head the, back the northeast the door to 42 and wait for Sonya. Okay, so the northeast chamber then, Sonya? Yeah. All right. You see, this is probably uh, had been like an extra armory, kind of like a a little bit of a surplus. There's five battered scimitars, six short bows, and just a ton of arrows. Oh, are they like in good condition? Yeah, all the stuff. Uh, uh the scimitar scimitars are a bit battle worn, a bit dull, but you uh, could sharpen them. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll start just putting them in my bag. All right. That's five scimitars. <laughs> Six short bows, and I'll say 50 arrows. Cool. All right. Uh, I guess I'll give the room a once-over. Is there anything? Nope, that's that's it. I mean, there's a door in the north uh, northeast corner. I feel like that's important. <laughs> um, I'm going to check that door. I'm going to check the door. It is a small 10-foot uh, square room that connects further east okay and I'm gonna go back to the others and say there's 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 more rooms this way like not more there's, there's more castle you hear some more carnage coming from the northwest chamber okay we're going that way then hey, there's there's more to it there's, there's more that way all right let's go that way 
Unless there was another, isn't this the only way to go forward? Was there other? Nope, there other was a, there was a way go? south at forty two that we haven't checked, but we can go that way instead. Well, I'm really fast. If you guys want to check out this way, I'll run down that passage that way. And if I get into trouble, I'll just run back over here. I would rather not split up when there's a Bulgura between us. Yeah, just that's that, that's probably not the best idea. The Bulgura between you and I. <laughs> <laughs> The wicked light. And anyway, um, suddenly you hear a loud bang as the door gets dented behind you. Uh, he has disadvantage on that attack. <laughs> no, I don't think it was an attack. I think it was just. I think it was a no. cobalt hitting it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sure fair. So. It was a cobalt slamming into it. Then that that spell don't affect kobolds. I'm just saying right now. And that door has the advantage on the cobalt. <laughs> All right, so where to, where to, everyone? 48, I'm guessing? Yeah, I think that's 48. Don't look at me. I'm all out of good ideas. I used up all my good idea juice. That, yeah. I'm sorry. Wait, so do you consider just throwing a demon into a room and closing the door a good idea? Absolutely. I mean, it worked before. Oh, hey, actually, uh, Matt, what I'm going to do with that uh, magic circle, because I just finished reading it, um is instead of making it so he can't cross the threshold, I'm going to make it so he can't leave the threshold if he crosses it. Okay. So if he manages to get in that circle and break the door, he's not going to be able to leave it. That's a trap, basically. Just leave it there. Sounds good. Just good in case. Good idea. Good idea. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's go that way. Let's, let's follow Sonya. Following Sonia. All right, so you guys pass uh, through the armory and then through that small chamber. And then into, uh, you see nodules of luminescent fungus hanging from the ceiling and walls in uh, grown clumps on the flagstone floor. Uh, the light illuminates portions of this grand uh, base relief carvings on the stone walls that aren't covered with the fungus. The carvings depict dragons in various stages of raining fire down upon terrified people. Soil and compost cover half the chamber's floor, which allows a variety of feeble plants to grow. A bench containing simple gardening implements stands along the west wall. Hmm. Yo, Philado, where do you want to put the Balgura in this room? Just so <laughs> I have a reference point. I was thinking... Perhaps in the back left corner. Okay, just leave it really it suit for now. the curtains in this room. Yeah, that's true. We'll hold off on that for the moment. <laughs> um, I'll just kind of go over check the gardening implements. They're probably just metal. Yeah, rough, metal. There's, shit. there's a spade. There's one small metal fork. Okay, cool. Some gloves. Oh, oh, gloves. Okay. Oh, nice. Um. Oh. I'm gonna check the uh, reliefs. Like, are they just general art, or are they like uh, religious scenes or myth scenes or whatever? Uh, they seem to be religious. So this is uh, Tiamat going after people. No, it's just different kinds of dragons. They're all gotcha. uh, chromatic, though. But it's more like it's a systematic type deal, like hier hieroglyphics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I'll check the uh, east door. The one that goes to 49? Yeah. Okay, it's not locked. Trapped. Is it is it trapped? No, it All is right. not. I will pop her open. All right, it takes a minute because this the door is made of stone. Housekeeping. So you push it open you and you see you see a luminescent mist blurring the edges of this octagonal chamber. Nodules of glowing fungus dot the stone walls and ceiling, as well as the caps of toadstools and mushrooms, small polyps, puffballs, and lichen. 
uh, the humid air reeks with rot. It, mm, is it? Do I get like a fairy sense? I don't know even know what that would no. be. I turn my I turn my detect magic on. There's, There's nothing some... magical in here. Okay. Which forty nine is this, by the way? The south east. or the east? I can hear that crunching real oh. loud and clear. Mm. Crunch, yeah. Mm. Mm. Crunchy. Right. Right. I will um, not eat the chips right now. I completely forgot we were like I it just it completely slipped my mind. It's that happened to me good. too, where I forget we're recording and not just playing. I just moved my mic all the way across the room. <laughs> I mean, my mic's like a foot and a half away from me. Yeah, I didn't know if that was enough to catch it. So I will. I, I look around, like, what is causing this rot? It has to be something in here. Is there a hole in the wall? No, this is very humid. No, it's Very just moist. old. As, it's just old as fuck, and things mold over time. Yeah, it's not rot. It's just very mm. moist. Yeah, where, but, I mean, yeah, but where's the? Drunk. If this is under, if this is underground in a sealed room, where's the that, moisture coming from? That that's not how this is. This is not a sealed room. Just because the door is closed does not mean at well. That's all that's, that's what I was. A, that's what I was asking. Is it? Is it a sealed? Like, is it like a? What does this room look like it's made of? Is it, like, worked stone? Yeah. Okay, is there, like, cracks in the ceiling or something where, like, water is coming down? No. Huh, that's weird. It's that just times kind of like... when you want to ask, you really wish you could ask the DM, is this a thing, or am I just wasting my time? And you really oh, wish you could I just guess. ask that. Or is this just something they didn't think about when they wrote it? Yeah. I'm betting yeah. it's the last one. Well, no, this it's it appears that like someone or something has been like cultivating a mushroom greenhouse. Yeah, but you usually need like a warm, moist location to do that, and that's really hard to get. This a is a warm, moist location. Yeah, it's super warm and moist. What are you talking about? Where what I was saying is, it's like it's very odd to see something like that underground in like. Do you a... want to? In do you want to investigate? This is a wad. Yes. Because dungeon. Jack, would <laughs> Jack would investigate this. It's very you odd. You just missed Jake's good joke. I'm sorry I missed the joke. I can't hear Jake. I said this is a wad. A wet ass dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That makes sense. Topical. Okay. You, you know, right. Josh, if you, you know want... that, they, that like you can make mushrooms underground. You know that, right? In a natural cave, not in a in, worked stone building. Yeah, but, like, this is also a place that's, like, it was above ground so long that it eventually sunk underground. It, I'm, it I'm underground investigating like it because it seems odd. No, I kind of get right. what Jack's go ahead and, from. Go ahead and roll an investigation check. I will roll an investigation check. You Here is I'm that. looking with them, so you, ha you have advantage. Here is that roll. That first one is bad. Both of them are bad. That's a seven. Ooh. You actually see that among the uh, the luminous mist blurring the floor, there are several holes in the ground. That's what we want to hear. Geothermal. Uh, uh, uh. That's literally all we needed to know. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, so uh, are we sure that's geothermal or are those burrows? I mean, is this is the fog coming out of the holes? No. Hmm. I'm gonna kind of just squat down next to one, knife out. There's a very faint glow and at I'm, some point in the in the hole. Use my I'm, knife to kind of move the mist. Hold on, hold in. on. I'm gonna light a torch and drop it down the hole. Well, okay. I wasn't going to do that, but... Yeah, well, I am. All right. <laughs> All right. Now the DM rolls how many dice he needs to kill us. Because you just dropped a lit object down a geothermal... When, when, you, when you drop the torch, you hear 
Just, uh, you hear what sounds like a snake hissing. <laughs> oh, man, I'm glad I'm not in that room. Sword is out and ignited. Um, you gonna let me do something? Yeah. Can I do my uh, breath weapon directly down into the hole? It's a five by thirty foot line. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm assuming this hole has a bottom. Yes. So whatever's Probably. down there will be sitting in a pool of acid. Do you want me to modify my damage on that or no? No. Okay. Well. Well, I mean, it's also like your breath weapon has your like ha hakalugi at them. So Not are there a steady stream of acid directly? You know, like it's on, a much... thirty foot line of it, so it will yeah, all settle down at the bottom. Let me ask you this: Are are there? There's more than one hole, right? That's an eighteen on the deck save, by the way. Uh, it's not a deck; it's a it, constitution. That's a 16 on the Constitution save. All right. Is is there are there multiple holes? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna stand at a different one than the one Jace is at to see if it comes out of a different hole. Okay. Because it may try to get away from All Jace, right. and come out. You somewhere said else. that was 16. Yeah. All right, it'll take half. It takes five damage. Five damage, all right. But now there's also a pool of acid just kind of sitting around it. Yeah, which is a little unfortunate, because that kind of hurts. Just a, <laughs> just a little bit. Just a tad. I don't know what happens to your acid after you spit it. Does it become inert eventually? or? Eventually, eventually. yeah, it will. But I would say like at least a turn or two it's going to sit there. Fair. Um, and then yeah, I, like right after I do that, I'm pulling out uh my uh Warhammer. So yeah, um, you hear kind of a sizzling sound as the acid uh, slides down the slides down the hole. And then Jack, from your end, you see just as glowing lights just grow brighter and brighter until eventually you see a snake-like visage. Just uh, approaching you real fast. Oh, shit, um, it's Randy Orton. So <laughs> <laughs> He's out of nowhere. So as then he hits I you with an RKO light, out of nowhere. As soon as I see the light, I'm going to step back away from the hole. And and can I do, like, stealth or something to prepare to stab it as soon as it comes out? Uh, it has seen you, so, I mean. Well, if I'm, uh, if I'm out of its line of sight, can I try to, like... I'm get into an angle where it's not expecting me? No. Okay, it's, well. It's seen you. Then I just stab it as it comes up. Yeah, but it depends, right? Nah. You can go, you can go ahead and make it. You can go ahead and make uh, an attack roll. This is a, uh, a medium-sized serpent-like creature. Kind of these smoky tendrils coming off of it. Okay. Uh, that is... Uh, that's a, hang on, that's... No, I'm gonna do a normal roll. That was with advantage. Post uh, a picture of it in general. Do we know what it is? Uh, that is a dirty twenty. That hits. You can go ahead and make it like a nature or actually an arcana check. So that'll just be the piercing damage. That's ten piercing damage. That's with the that's with the uh sword. And then mm. I'm going to turn around and stab it with the dagger as well. Twelve. Twelve. This is a fire snake. Oh. Interesting. Well, see, looking at that, it looked like it would have a cooler name. <laughs> well, it's it's uh, it's the, the younger form of a salamander. Ah, uh, gotcha. 
It's a uh, 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 Salamandus Fugit. That's cool looking though. Um, yeah, I uh, the the second attack with the dagger was a twelve. And that first attack was uh, slashing damage. You said. Yeah, ten. Uh, yes, it would be short swords. It says piercing, but I don't think that's right. You could you could probably do either. It depends. I mean, you could stab or slash with a short sword. And what sword are you using? The flame tongue, but it doesn't have the fire on it. Okay. Uh, just the regular sword. And then the t- uh, 12 to hit with the dagger. 12 misses. Okay. That figured. Okay. Uh, this creature is still alive, but very badly hurt, and it's going to try to lash out, with you, uh, lash out to you with a bite attack, Jack. It will certainly give it the old college try. Oh, hey, if that was... If it hadn't gone... Then I would, <laughs> I would have gotten sneak attack on that. It, it <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just telling you up, up front. I don't think you could have sneak attacked because it's a hole, and it's at the bottom, and you're at the top. There's no way for you to like sneak attack. It's not sneak attack. Is not like a backstab. It just means I get an advantageous hit on a weak spot. Yeah, it can All be. Right. Think of a sneak attack more like a critical hit. So with, oh, okay. a, with my with my assassinate again, if it hasn't gone in a turn, if it hasn't gone yet at the beginning of combat, I when I attack it, I get advantage and I get my sneak attack because I get advantage. I'm letting you decide if that if he's technically gone by moving or not. I will let you decide that. Yeah, he has. Okay, then I'll leave it at that. I just wanted to only bring only up. because I hate this ability out of like a, a traditional combat. Yeah, it makes it a little bit difficult. I'll I'll agree with that. This is a homebrew, right? No, Jack, the, no, that's default from the book. Yeah, like that's fucking busted. Yeah, that's an eighteen to hit you, Jack. It should be called. Uh, something yeah, something. that'll definitely hit old Jackie boy. I think. Hang on, check. I think my armor is eighteen. Yeah, my armor class is eighteen. <laughs> All right, you're gonna take ten points of piercing damage plus. Uh oh. 11 points of fire damage. Okay, well that's not great, but... And then it's going to hit you with its tail. Oh, good. So that's... And that's a, that's a 7. Uh, 7 is definitely not going to hit. Um... Varith. Alright. Uh... This thing's very weak. Yeah, I, I, I can tell by looking at it. So, I'm going to walk up to it and swing with my... Uh... More hammer. Does a okay? It's a base of seventeen. Do I even need to bother looking up my uh, bonus? That hits. Okay. I sound exasperated, but I'm actually, you know, having fun. <laughs> Tr- no, no, trust me, I'm having fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> right. Uh... Hey, Ethel. Yes. They're taking a long time in there. Do you think we should go look for them? I think they're fine. <laughs> yeah, they're probably fine. <laughs> Mimosas. All right. It's going to take two bludgeoning. Or wait. Uh, yeah. Five bludgeoning, rather. Forgot to how add my you... uh, strength bonus. Well, how do you pop this bad boy? Because that's enough to kill it. Okay, well, considering I'm using my uh, Divine Strike and it's also dealing thunder damage, it's, I'm just going to kind of hit it and the thunder makes it explode from, like, halfway up. Crack up. Right. So you just hear this crash of thunder. Thunder? And lightning. No, I was doing I was doing Thundercats, but that's okay. Oh. Dang. Hey. Hey Listen. Jack, yeah hi. Snake and then, and then it and then it explodes and yeah, just bits of bits of fire snake land on you. They're all all the bits are like kind of hot to the touch, Eek. so it kind of burns a little as it rains upon you. But yeah, this fire <laughs> always, snake is dead. Always stealing my kills, huh? Mm. I'm sorry. No, I'm this not. is probably what was causing the warm, humid. Oh, that makes sense. Climate. Yeah. 
Um, can you crack me off one of them healing spells you have? Yeah, give me just a sec. He hurt one me. Of them cold ones. He hurt me, Daddy. He hurt me. He hurt me real bad. <laughs> hurt you bad? Not not that bad, but you know enough. Suck it up. Gross. <sighs> Well, fellow Del Antonio, what are you guys doing while this uh, is going down? You just waiting outside? Uh, mm. Hey, let, hey, how about we check the north? You want to check the north room with me? Yeah. Yeah. Go check the north room. I feel like everything is fine. You get 22 uh, they, points back. If they needed Once something, they'd say it, back. right? Like, quite puts me back to full. Close, though. Thanks. I'm sure they would. Yeah. Alright, so while Jack and Vareth are doing that, uh, Ilfella and Sonia, you guys go towards the north, uh, the north room. It's the same as the 48 you were just in, except you actually see something kind of large and fur-covered sleeping on the bench of, up in the far northeast corner. Okay, so listen, Ilfell. Um, I think we need to explore this area more, so please don't summon a demon here yet. Yet. <laughs> that is fine. I would rather not do that, <coughs> at least for a little while longer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hmm, let's see. I mean, I got good eyes. Can I can I tell what it is? It, if the fur thing's alive? Uh, yeah, it appears to be a sleeping bugbear. Huh. <laughs> Fuck. Do you think we can They'll kill a bugbear? They'll be fine. Oh, I'm certain we could. It just might hurt. Okay. Um. Okay, well, like, if I sneak up on it and set on fire, and then when I do that, you hit it with some magic, and then we'll go from there? <clears throat> um, just as a quick aside, did you take, like, pyromania as a flaw? Because you like setting shit on fire. I, I mean, do, I do too. Like, come on. I, I do two things. I can punch things, and I can set things on fire. A when guess would have sufficed. When you... <laughs> when... Okay? When when all you have is a hammer, every problem looks flammable. Alright? Fair. <laughs> Alright? Especially no, that no. fire thing we're fighting. Oh, that... That's... That was great. Alright. So you... You get your magic... You get whatever... Ma I don't know what kind of magic you can do. You get whatever spell you got ready. I'm gonna sneak up on it and get as close to it as I can. Okay, I should not do melt minute meteors then, because that uh, will explode and hurt you. Well, okay. If you were to describe what you needed to safeguard, like if your spells had, say, what you'd call, um, uh, 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 God, what's, what's the fucking flash Tom? Damage? You know, Air if, effect, splash if, I had to, if I had to roll a dice to not get hurt by your things, what 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 would that you know? Saving throw? Do they if you had a saving throw? On a scale of one to twenty, probably like a seventeen. Would that would, does it have a saving throw that needs to be like a a, a strength save or a deck save or <laughs> a charisma save? Yeah, uh, I would say dexterity. Dexterity? You know what? I think I got it. You go for it. You get them uh, nails by new meteors, man. All right? You hear okay. me? All right. So I'm going well, to stealth I up cast to... Milf's my new meteors. Well, we'll wait until I get close to the bell so I can do my thing. And then whenever I'll go off at once. So I'm going to stealth up to the bear. Well, it is neither a bug nor a bear, but it is a huge goblinoid. You said bugbear. Yeah, yes, called it's called bug a bugbear, but it's not a bug or a bear. Well, bugbears are just bears with wings. <laughs> no, they're not. No, but... 
but I uh, wish, man. That's I wish. You're going to learn today. Whatever. <laughs> You're going to learn today. Whatever. Right, so, what kind of, so what kind of saves do I have to make for most of my new meteors? Well, I got to get close. Okay, so I'm just saying I'm close enough to it to use my fucking things, right? Dexterity. Yes. Okay. Okay, dexterity? Yep. I'm going to give it disadvantage because it's sleeping. I would hope we'll say it probably fails automatically. <laughs> if it's a dex? You know what? Actually, know yes. There's a mechanic Yeah, I was going to say it. Lit I think that's literally the rules. Actually, that yes. All right, so just go ahead and do your thing. Yeah, I'm assuming it's just... Okay, yeah, because um, mine's a dex saving throw too, but if it if just you fails... Just, if you just stay 10 feet away, um, you're still close enough to jump in, but also you'll avoid the detonation. <laughs> Well, the cool thing is that my thing is within a 15-foot cone, so... Then you could be perfectly safe. So yeah, I'll just do mine and he does his. You do you. And I'll do me! Okay, uh... How many can I throw in one turn? Two? I can throw two. Well, so he's going to get hit with two meteor blasts. The first one deals 10 fire damage. Cool. Second one deals seven. All um, right. And then, Sonya, it's your turn. Uh, I'm calculating. Um, that's... 40 fire damage? Uh. <laughs> Come again? <laughs> um, yeah, I used my burning hands at 5th level, and I just happened to roll really high. I got... <laughs> I got... 6... Five, let's, see, let's count it out again. Four, yeah, I got like... Yeah, 40. Because I rolled like, mostly 6s and like 1 5. <laughs> Alright. So, this bugbear is going to wake up Still ablaze, and he's just here. Roo, 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 roo. It grabs its morning star, and it's gonna try to swing wildly at you, Sonia. Do we hear it? I mean, I'm, I'm 15 no, feet you... away. Can it hit me? This is probably while we're fighting, right? It can move. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a yeah. You know, you're right. I, I, I mean, you said that like it's a thing, but I'd also like to point out. How conscious are you when you wake up on fire? <clears throat> That's why I asked. Can Barely doth I say I am blessed with locomotion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. Swing. Swing oh, away. Swing also, away, yes, Clark. This, this is happening at the same time as uh, Jack and uh, Varith are fighting the fire snake. I so can we, burn. I can fight. <laughs> so basically, uh, because, as because soon as it's I on, hit the thunder, it screams. So that's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the bugbear a disadvantage considering it's on fire. <laughs> I would hope so. Uh, that's a thirteen to hit oh, Sonya. That's, that's not gonna hit somebody. So the morning star just goes wide over your head, and it's gonna come around on the backswing. Man, these rolls are really good, but he has disadvantage. Is it because he's on fire? Yeah. <laughs> it probably isn't helping the situation. Yeah, it also it's not. just woke up. It's probably not like. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking. The fell at all? Hmm. Huh? There's an on fire bugbear swinging wildly at Sonya. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw two more at him. Him, Sorry, uh, he can move his... I, it's going to stick with me for like the next week and a half. Thanks. He can move. He can burn. He can, he can ride. He can love. He can sing. Sonya will have to make a deck save too since they're... Yeah, within five feet. Unless yeah. the bugbear is attacking him from... Or is attacking her from its max range of ten feet. Because remember, bugbears have really long arms. Oh, I was... I, I'm Sorry. You said I gotta make a. You said I gotta make a deck saving throw. So I made a deck saving throw, and I'm gonna tell you, bud, it don't matter what happened because that was a natural twenty. <laughs> so, oh, nice. 
Perfect. And that's a and that's a thirteen on the bugbear's deck save. Oof, that won't do it. Uh, that's <laughs> not gonna do it. You gotta aim a little higher. So whatever happens to the bugbear only happens to the bugbear. You yep. gotta get up pretty early in the morning. To <laughs> what happens in the sunless Eight citadel damage. stays in the sunless citadel. Eight damage on the first one. Okay. Um, ten damage on the second one. So All right, a, so these just whoosh, tiny whoosh. meteors just 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 pummel into the bugbear's head, drops to its knees, drops its morning star, and then falls face first to the ground, just smoldering away. Imagine dying like that. Imagine waking up like that. Waking up on fire, <laughs> being hit with what you probably have to assume is like machine gun bees, and dying. <laughs> oh. Oh, what happened? I just wanted to eat some mushrooms today. Oh. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, that happened. Is he dead or is it my turn again? Oh, it's dead. Oh, it's dead. He's just kind of sitting there cooking now. It doesn't smell good. Dude, Milf's Minute Meteors are so cool. I want to make a character that uses those. What? Mil Milf's me 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 Yeah. The MILF meteors? Got it. <laughs> I'll show you some MILF meteors. You ever heard of Corey Chase? Nope. Nope. No, and also no. I'm cutting that out. Anywho. No, you're not. I bubble actually booey, bubble am. Bubble booey. So. What do you guys do next? Jack Vareth? What do you, where are you, where we're going to start at? heading towards uh, back where we thought they were. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you see that they have the... You can actually see them kind of through the, the northern door since it's open now. Can I, I see the uh, fire? I was going to say, can yes. they smell the rotisserie steak? Between Ophelia and Sona is a smoldering corpse that doesn't smell good. Oh my god, Jack. did you commit a murder? Jack, I yes. think they killed something. <laughs> we leave you guys alone for two minutes. Two seconds, and you commit a murder. What is wrong with you? Uh, you're right. I mean, Why what? do you, you kill guys... people? Why do you do this? <laughs> Why? Do you have an answer? The, the irony of Jack saying this. <laughs> right. right. The point. It's a. It's a. A hundred percent. He's just fucking. I. I, I know. It's, I know. It's a bit. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a bit. Why? God. Anyway, we you killed a giant it? snake. Sitting this there. only works if I can Looney Tunes up it, but that's fair. I just I grab like a nice roasted drumstick and just start eating it as he's yelling at me. Like, <laughs> oh, God. oh, okay, okay. You're well, eating bugbear. Oh, that gross. Oh. That was a sentient creature that you were eating. That's disgusting. No, it wasn't. I fought it. But yeah, <laughs> it still had intelligence. It still had awareness. You are a at thing. you. That's enough, man. It didn't say anything to me. All it's all, it, it didn't say shit. All it said was bar. If you grilled a monkey it and ate it, what? How would you feel about that? I mean, people do that in Pretty areas cool. where monkeys. It's bad to do. No, it's just that they live no, in areas No, there's a lot we, of cross-contamination um, disease. I believe in God. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't evolve from no monkey. <laughs> Especially me. Like, you're going to sit there and tell me elves evolve from monkeys? You're going to tell me elves evolve from monkeys? Kind of fucking, Is that fucking... a good place to just end it for the night? That's a, we, I think we, that's a good we, place. We haven't even been going night. for an hour. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're just over an hour. I, I love how that just, I just like, I like everything that everything for just a second. Point. Like, <laughs> movie, I want to keep going. I'm okay with that too. <laughs> but like, just, I believe in God. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um. Just wow. All right. <laughs> oh God. Bad. <laughs> Was that bad or possibly the greatest moment of the podcast? Nope. Definitely not that. <laughs> Definitely not that. Great last moment one. or greatest moment? 
All right, so uh, what y'all want to do now? There's um, a, the the, the bugbear is smoldering. It doesn't smell good. It's very hot in here now. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this way. You know what? what? LFL, just throw up, just throw up Plan Z and let's just fucking leave. <laughs> yeah, why are we Plan here? Plan Z's in the other room, dude. Nah, he can make something bigger. Okay, so that was... You guys were in... Um... The upper, right? the upper no, 48. Upper 48. Okay. Um... So I love that. Ophel and I'll just... Why are we even here? Why are we here? Just to suffer. Do we want to go to purple 49? Oh, up at the Sounds top. like one of those weird chemicals you put in food. Oh, yeah. What's in this? Uh, oh, purple 49, pur yep. red 40. Yep. Yeah, you know what? I'll check purple 49 and I pick up the flaming bud bear carcass and throw it through the door. <laughs> Something's gonna. If something's in there, it'll pay attention to that. Oh my now, god! It's, it's more luminescent fungus and uh, things of, of that nature. Is there another one of the? Is there another set of snake holes? Uh, not in here. No. Okay. This room is markably less humid. I really want to get to fifty. Um. So can I? I'm gonna check that door. All right. Yeah. Dragon carved granite blocks line this chamber's walls and ceiling, though many are crumbled and broken, leaving stony debris on the floor. A huge marble statue of a rearing red dragon stands in the curve of the western wall. The eye sockets of the dragon are empty, but a red glow lingers there, providing reddish light throughout the chamber. The radiance casts an inky shadow behind the statue's wide wings. A five-foot diameter circular tile of dark stone is set in the floor in front of the dragon statue. Runes are carved in, uh, carved around the circular tile's inner edge. Um, I've been waiting for this, and I take out the jade dragons and shove them into the eye sockets. Hold on, 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 hold on. That's a lot of hold ons. God dang. Uh, forget all that then. Is it draconic? Uh, they are, yes. What does it say? Let the sorceress power illuminate my spirit. Jack? I'm not sure. Hold on. Check it first, because this... I'm paranoid, because it's a fucking evil... Did you, did you say the phrase out loud? What, I'm not a sorcerer? Varith, did you say the phrase out loud? No, I was just reading it. Because uh, I All feel right. like he might have. No. But, Jack, I want you to check the statue and see okay. if there's anything funky with it. Like, trap-wise, because I just, I'm paranoid. I'll check it for traps and also uh, cast Detect Magic. Um. There's a faint enchantment magic in the circular uh, tiles. on In front of the dragon? Yeah. On the floor, that circular tile in front of the dragon gives off a faint glow of enchantment magic. I will sort of peek down at it and check it. Is it like some kind of activator plate? Like, what does it seem to do? You're not sure? Hmm. All right. You okay? Did you want to in did you want to investigate the statue? Yeah, I'll investigate the statue too. And I just point out, hey, don't step there, and I'll point out the location. All right. You uh, you look around the statue. the The eye sockets are definitely empty. Um. Everybody else, you see, while Jack is kind of poking around the statue you see a shadowy hand just kind of reach out and almost grasp the back of Jack's neck as it pulls back into the shadows Jack get down come again I get down 
Something just reached for you. Hmm. I look at where? Like, reached from, like, towards the back of your neck. I step forward. Hey there, demons. It's me, your boy. Bad. <laughs> All right. Sonia, very carefully, see if those fit. Slam them in there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they <laughs> fit, but they don't appear to do anything. All right. Now I'm going to say it out loud. All right. Are you also standing in the middle of the circle? I want to stand there. I'm standing right in front of the fucking dragon's mouth. Come on. I got next um, save, baby. I'm standing in the middle of the circle investigating it. Can, how, can only one person fit on it? Yeah, it's a very small area. Then I'm going to stand there before a fella del- does, because I have a feeling I have to be. What if, okay, you stand in there, and then I'll get on your shoulders, and then I'll hold Ilfell on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stand back. I'm going to stand back and hold a um, uh, counter spell. If anything goes off and a spell goes off, okay. uh, yeah. it's going to target Yeah, Sonya, Del- get out of the way. So, Varith, you take place in the center of the tile. You read the draconic phrase out loud. And there's a puff of spectral flame that harmlessly envelops you. No. Oh. You now have advantage on all charisma checks for 24 hours. Fuck. Bullshit. He stole that from you, UFO. I'm going to be honest. I was hoping it would grant some, like, crazy draconic sorcerer powers. Um, some more bullshit like last time. Did I see anything magical happen when he did that? No, it's just like the spectral flames. That's about it. Also, Jace, I will private message you something else. Because I don't want to try to. I don't want to waste the spell trying to counterspell something I can't or cause a problem with that. So there you go. You are also now a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Your yes. Penis grew. Three times its normal size. Charisma, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Moving right along. Moving right along in search of good times and good news. That's the lyrics. Anyway. Uh, Jack. Yes, I'm Jack. Does a 19 hit you? Uh, 19 does hit me, yes. This time you see the shadowy hand reach out and actually just sock you in the jaw. Ow, fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> I, throw, I f- immediately throw my dagger at it. You're going to take 11 points of necrotic damage. Ow. And two, po- and two points of ego damage because you just got <laughs> slapped. Basically, yes. Uh... You said you wanted to throw your dagger at it? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Make an attack roll. I will make an attack roll. <laughs> That's a 21. Uh, that definitely hits. Uh, so that's six slashing damage. All right. Uh, and then I'll just use my bonus action to teleport it back to my hand. <laughs> okay, the hand... The hand pulls back into the shadow. Okay. Does it anyone doesn't... have light? I do. Cast it. Actually, I don't have light. I have daylight. Cast it. I'm going to cast daylight. So the room illuminates in this uh, just bright glow of yellow light. And then you do see a humanoid shadowy figure from behind the statue just kind of pull away from it and cover what is probably its head with its arms. I'm gonna go suck it in the jaw. Be my guest. (laughs) Yeah, go for it. A bop for a bop. You can. I'm gonna bop it. Go for it. Twist it. it. 
That's twist a, it. That's a, that's a, it's a 20 something. What's my fucking Sonia, name? are your, are your attacks, are, is this yeah. an unarmed, uh, unarmed attack? Yeah, but my or attacks is it considered... are also magical. I was just going to ask that. All right. I think so, you punch ghosts. I think you got that within the last couple levels. Yeah, it was uh, a couple levels ago. It's pretty quick, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, what was the attack roll? Uh, let's see. Um, I rolled a 16, and I have a plus 9, so 25? Yeah, oh, yeah. Now bop it on the jaw. Let's see. For how much damage? Let's see. That's not right. For nine damage. And then I go, Yo, why are you bopping people on the jaw? Uh, when you hit the shadow, it just kind of dissolves and uh, disintegrates through the floor. Bitch ass ghosts. Is it. And so it's just gone? Yep. But we don't know if it's dead. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Crazy. Yeah, it's like a weird shadow creature. Okay. Um, Literally a shadow. So oh. are you okay, Varith? You got swallowed in like fire. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. I'm great. I'm assuming since you're a dragon, you're okay. Oh yeah, I'm 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 more I'm, than good. I'm sort of side eyeing Varith a bit. Does he seem off or different? You can make an insight check. I don't would know. I have, would I have to roll an opposed on that or? No. Okay. Um. I just think is I don't know if I would notice anything different, but I guess that's up to you. I that was a twenty six. Though I don't know if it's really active enough for a full. Yeah, there, there's nothing outwardly that looks different. Okay. Okay. I mean, if he doesn't seem any different, I don't, and I didn't, I don't notice that that anything happened to him. Like he didn't. You said, did, did he get surrounded by fire? Yeah. Spectral fire. Spectral fire. That's the thing is though. I, that's the thing is I don't know if I would attempt to have counterspelled <clears throat> that or not. Well, if it's I way too late that. at this point. Yeah, that's true. So, where to? Look, to put you at ease, nothing bad happened to me. Mm, sure. Is this another thing where you got special powers and we're not telling each other because we're all assholes? Uh, we had all that. Well, we all I got mean, powers last time. All I'm going to say is it would have been wasted on any of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, oh, that's right. not fucking fair. That's funny is what it is. Um, <laughs> so where to next guys can we see the door to the north is it dm yep. am i lying you're not lying exactly well, no no wouldn't you want to give people who have low charismas the ability to get advantage on, on like charisma saving goals that way they won't fail it that's not all that happened but yeah, i'm trying to make it a that surprise yeah. that's all that yeah but that's all that you said happened so that's Ugh. all i'm assuming that's all i'm assuming that happened we don't even know that we don't even know that that happened. That's yeah, I thing. know, and that's annoying. Player knowledge, character <laughs> knowledge. Let's keep them separate. Yeah, I know, and that's annoying. I'm gonna go oh, check the door Andy. to the north. I'm gonna go check the door to the north and see if it's trapped or locked. It is if, neither. Neither. If only we trusted each other more, as a group. So, leaning in, uh, fallen stone bookshelves fill this chamber through a clear path, or though a clear path connects wooden doors on opposite walls. Torn and burnt pages, bindings, and scrolls form disordered piles in the corners. Uh-oh. Do not show this to Ophelidol. You will not be Ophelidol, you find this. Hey, Ophelidol, close you your eyes. This. You don't want to see this horror. Okay. Nope. All right. Uh, any books in here appear to be unburned at all? You can make a perception check. I will make a perception check. That's a 21. 21. There are two unburnt spell scrolls and a leather bound or 
a scale bound book. Oh, all right. I will hand the spell scrolls to a Philado. There you go. You want me to write those down or you got them? Uh, you can go ahead and write them down. I was, I was going to give you the book. I was going to look at the first page and then give Chase you the book. Chase is talking to a Philado. Yeah. Sorry. Might be. That's a good point. <clears throat> Can I read these scrolls to tell what they are? Yeah. Hit me One with. is a scroll of Melf's acid arrow. Neat. Nice. And Melf, the other is a the other is a scroll of Scorching Ray. Ooh. Also nice. I can cast Scorching Ray. And now as a wizard you can add those to your spell book, right? Yes. Nice. I like both of those. Very good. Um, I'm going to open the book to like the first page. It is completely written in Draconic. Oh. Well. It's a shame no one here knows Draconic and I just fireballed the book. No, uh, I'm going <laughs> to hand it to Vareth. Kind of figured right. that's what it was. All right. What can I read? Let me come up with a title. <laughs> You, you figure they'd have this in, in the uh, Madrid. Dragon Tales. <laughs> or something not copy. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. Uh, in Draconic, the title of this book is Wicked Worms of the North. And that's Worms with a Y. That's pretty good. So, is it just like a listing of... It's lore. Gotcha. Okay. Because I would say, based on the name, I was going to say it's basically like, these are the known dragons in this area. Yeah, it's like lore about uh, notable dragons that live in the north. So gotcha. These are the known knowns, and these are the unknown knowns. They yes. shit, we don't know that we don't know. But then there's the unknown unknown. All right, so I'm going to hold on to that. Does it say anything about the dream dragon we killed? Like, do it have a name and a family? Anyone it dream? cares about. Money, dream in dream? Dream? Money in a Hopes bank account dreams. somewhere. You yeah. said Wicked Worms of the North? Wicked Worms of the North, yes. Well, money in the bank match, anything? <laughs> also, like what, what dream dragon... WWE it's a green dragon. Oh, green dragon. I thought you said dream dragon. So did I. At least it isn't a book about notable fishing spots, weird worms of the north. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can see it, but I'm just I'm just truffle shuffling. It's I would have went. I would have went. Hey, with guys, like guys. Weird dietary Hold on. Illnesses. Yes. It was at this moment in the podcast where Jace had to step away for a few minutes. So we got to rambling about some weird stuff, and I decided to keep some of it in. I watched a video of a tarantula hawk fighting a tarantula. That sounds like That's a terrible a idea. It's fucking scary. Tarantula hawks are fucking scary. Well, they're designed to kill like tarantulas, right? Oh man, you should see the tarantula hawk in front. They are giant yeah. hand-sized like, wasps. Yeah. The tarantula hawk in 14 is the size of a Doberman. And they're all over the fucking place. They're, that thing is horrific. I saw a murder hornet. Nice! Oh, no. Did you murder it? No. But Wait. I sprayed it with a, uh, a leaf blower. Did it murder you and now you're secretly the murder hornet? Fuck. <laughs> well, it's like... The thing was like two inches long. Uh. It was like... it's. It's like body was like shaped like a bullet. It's pretty gnarly. I hate that so much. I've seen like two or three of them in the past like month or two. They're infiltrating. Oh no. I wish they wouldn't. They have come out with they are coming out with uh Nick, you might be wanting this. Dark Horse is coming out with a book. Uh, June 1st, that is 
uh, the extensive lore and exhaustive detail of each of the Sonic universe. It is called the Sonic Encyclopedia. Is it going to be actually? <laughs> I mean, is it actually going to be about like all the different Sonic universes, or is it That's just what it says? Up? Dive is deep into a- the <laughs> extensive lore and exhausted detail of each game in Sonic's ever-expanding universe. Okay, yeah. See, it's like each game, and I'm like, oh fuck it. Like, yeah, I know what the games fucking do. Give me one that's like. Let's talk about the Fleetwood comic universe, and then the Archie, and then the IDW, and then the cartoon. Here's an idea. How universes. about never again? Because <laughs> Fleetwood about, had their talk- own Sonic comic, and it was really cool because the Super Sonic of that one wasn't like a good guy. I fucked up. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. No. Let's talk about how Sonic's real name is Ogilvy. Nah, that's only in one universe. In the Archie, it's what? Maurice. What? It's Ogilvy. Well, no, in that universe, his middle name is Maurice. So his first name is Ogilvy. I don't like this. Uh, all right. Anyway, what had happened? Anywho. What had happened is we got a couple of stray cats around the house. Ooh. Mm. Well, we put food out for them. They keep the mice and the chipmunks away. Right. Well, there's now a kitten that we didn't know about. Oh. And our one dog found it. Uh oh. Oh, no, the kitten's fine. It's just pretty scared, didn't know what the hell was going on, and my mom couldn't get the dog to come in. So I had to run down and help real quick. That's great. Because for some reason, that dog will listen to me over everybody else. That's fair. Good puffer. So. Yeah, picking back up... uh, there is a room to the north, and the door you just came through. Where do you go? The room I'm assuming the, the door. Yeah, I'm assuming that way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you see a, a set of damp and crumbled steps descending sharply. They descend about 15 feet uh, under an eight foot high stone corridor that passes about seven feet below the northern arbitorium that you were in, and connect to another stairway on the other side does it lead, leads to a does it lead to a sound studio that then activates a transition that takes us to the next part of the set <laughs> so for the sitcom that we're in yes okay it's fair now god damn it so you are now in this long hallway there's Two doors in the east at the end of this very long hallway. Okay. Uh, so this is this is down the stairs, right? After we've yeah gone down the, the stairs. Un- yeah, you went down the stairs under the arbitorium, up the stairs, and then down this hallway. Oh, okay. I see where we are. Okay. Yeah, um, I guess we'll check fifty three then. Sonia. <laughs> The first door we come to? Yeah, you guys could do that. I'm going to check 54. Okay. okay. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to speed this along. Okay. We've been in this castle an awfully long time. Yeah, it's been, been like two hours. Long. It's been... It's been two One hours, week. maybe. One week. It... <laughs> All right, so... Uh, the door leading to 53 is locked. Oh, shit! I look at Verith and go, yeah, I'm just, like, shaking my fist, like, <laughs> Do you uh, finally get to do something? Do your uh, little thievy Lock it! And then yeah. I hurl two meteors at the door. No, I was gonna say, <laughs> no! wait, 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 wait. Okay, hang on. So, that 53 leads to 54, right, DM? Yeah. Is that door locked? Are you going through 54? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sneaking. Whatever. I'm sneaking in. Are you... Co- just... This is a this is a commit. You could do... Are you committing to this? I'm sne- I said I'm sneaking. Sneaking in. All right. Make a stealth check. Because <laughs> I really want the joke to be the door into 53 from that way isn't. So I'm going to open the door from the other side. But this requires an awfully good... Oh, shit! That's... Oh shit, this might actually work. 
What's my sneak? I'm assuming stealth, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 24. You successfully open the door. Uh, you see twigs and roots are piled on the floor of this sagging chamber. Uh, the collapsed southern wall opens into a vast cavern. Luminescent fungus on the rough walls and high roof lo loom over a twilight grove of sticky briars, bushes, saplings, and other woody plants. Ruined uh, walls and hollow towers protrude from the briars. And uh, you do see four kobolds kind of huddled around eating at the far end of this room. Aww. They have not, they have not appeared to have noticed you. Okay, I'm gonna slowly back out of the room and okay. whisper to the others. There's a bunch of kobolds over there. Okay. But, but I thought uh, you were on the other side of the door. I wanted to, but I can't. I'm not gonna be able to. This is more important than the joke. <laughs> I wanna, <laughs> I wanna open the door. So, in other words, you pussed. Yeah. He, he well, if you want, I can march back in and try the joke. Considering the issues we had with kobolds earlier, I think you'll be fine if they notice you. You'll uh, kill them quick. You say that. <clears throat> I remember specifically being at, like, single-digit health by the end of that fight. <laughs> details, details. You survived. But I wanted to open the door, and he broke open it. Open the door. I didn't break it. I I started to go no, from the that bottom. No, that one. I pointed at Philado. That one broke it. Well, I'm pretty sure it. he I didn't because he said he cast meteors. Unless he you threw literally meteors cast. at it. Did I you actually do that? No. Okay. <laughs> it was a bit. Well, then very excitedly, Jack pulls out his his kit, opens it up, makes a very flurry show of it. He's very nice, and proud of his tools. He pulls out the right tool. He looks at the door and very carefully. Look, we're all proud of our tools. That doesn't mean we pull it out in front of each other. Listen here. Very nicely oiled up, solid tools. <laughs> oh, is that what you guys solid. call tools? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm going to attempt to unlock this door. Kind of small for all tools, right. don't you think? That is a 17 to unlock this door. You do not unlock it. <laughs> fucking excuse me <laughs> you, you, you I don't tried what he said is that you were incompetent and impotent and I, you're a, a, I try again impotent not yeah. impotent yeah. shut up Gross. I go to the next set of tools that are maybe a little bit bigger and a bit <laughs> sturdy. Uh, sturdy and I try again penis joke I'm going to try again. Hello. Yeah. Okay. I can't, I couldn't I hear anyone. I for said you. anything. That's a 10. I take out the crowbar. <laughs> so, so hold on, hold on. Did you literally just prove out it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean? I pull out a crowbar. <laughs> and I jam it into the door. It's and you know what? No, it's not. It's, the, it's not push. the motion of the ocean. It's it doesn't matter who's sailing the boat if they're incompetent. Uh, all right, I want you to make a dexterity check. Fuck. That's a twenty-two. Get fucked. <laughs> the door, the door cracks open. open. Uh, Say again. The door opens. It goddamn better. A layer of soil covers the floor. <laughs> Rough wooden shelves filled with a uh, scattering of tomes and scrolls line the north and east walls. And a rough-hewn desk stands in the center of the chamber. Fungus on the ceiling provides light, apparently in sufficient quantity to nourish several small bushes and pale saplings that grow in the soil. But that is not the only pale thing in this room. Oh. What you see floating in the center of the room above the desk is a pale ball with a giant red eye in the center. Sauron! I've seen these. It has, it has ten long tentacles, each ending in a oh, mouthful okay. of teeth. Oh, shut the door! Okay. <laughs> so that's uh, that's what we call... I don't know. What do you say? It's a hold on, hold on. Can I make holder. a check real quick? That's one yeah. I really you can make a, You can make a very quick arcana check. Yeah, I think it's a gazer at best. 
18. Uh, this is what happens when a beholder has a nightmare. Oh. This is a this is a death kiss. Oh, good. Cool. It's the beholder's nightmare. Great. Did you call it a death kiss? Yep. Uh, I, I oh. think it's more like a beholder after a night at Chipotle. Has it <laughs> noticed me opening the door? I will allow you to make a stealth check. <laughs> oh, I would assume that's... <laughs> I, it should be pointed out, I did use a crowbar. Yeah, you whatever. Did. So, a stealth uh -huh. check with disadvantage. Okay. Why couldn't you just shut your mouth? That's a natural one. Well, fuck. <laughs> its giant red eye is centered directly on you. Housekeeping! And that's where we're going to end it for tonight. Great. This has been good rolls for Jack. <laughs> no, so, I, I, the... I, I, I took that disadvantage because you got to respect the fiction. It, if you break, crack a door open with a fucking crowbar, it's going to make noise. Yeah. I don't know. I was willing to accept that he threw meteors at the door and I still was going to stealth past the kobolds. <sighs> so, yeah, maybe next week a fight with a death kiss. Or maybe we just throw another demon into the room, lock, close the door, and walk away again. Fuck. I don't know. Maybe I put another death kiss in a different room. I'm just saying. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, let's just right. build this one. So, thank you guys for listening to another episode of Moral Ambiguity. You can find us on Twitter at ambiguous pod. You can find us on Facebook bit.ly slash ambiguous FB. Find us on YouTube, more ambiguity podcasts. Um, and yeah, I don't really have a, an outro for this uh, week. You know guys. What, it doesn't get said enough. Thank you for running this episode of moral ambiguity. Thank you. Well, thank for you. Running it. Yeah. Even though we kind of derail everything, we always, <laughs> derail, but that's okay because we care about you. I appreciate it. Cool. Listen, I know sometimes I sound a little frustrated, a little flustered, a little verklempt. That's not a word. It's Yiddish. It is. Yeah, it's Yiddish. That's not the point. I don't care. It, <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. <coughs> but yeah, I, I, I enjoy running this game. You guys are great. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, this is, the, this is the end of the podcast. Bye. Bye. I believe in God. God. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right.